the next question is who does testing right because any activity requires a lot of people involved always in any organization human resources are required so in this software testing who does the testing let us take a simple example i write uh, say science exam okay so i write some say um six pages of answers right i don't know what i'm writing i may be writing junk or i may be writing the correct answers but there is some something that i am writing right i am the author right same way there is a person who codes the program this is also known as development right if somebody writes the program he is called a developer or a coder soon after me finishing that exam i go through my answers right same way a developer must test his or her own program the moment a developer finishes coding he or she needs to test so the first testing is done by the author of the program then the second thing is there are certain people right called developers development team right development team needs to do some testing then okay i finish my exam then i and hand over that paper to my teacher then teacher evaluates my answers right obviously i may be thinking that i'll get uh, say 95 marks but my teacher may exactly give the opposite 59 marks right i may inherently do the mistakes so teacher evaluates and then gives answers look at this teacher is an independent person he did not write so he does not have to have any prejudice over my answers better the teacher be neutral unbiased independent third party right so the marks you get will be exactly a judgment on what you are writing same way there are certain people called testers testers are independent independent of the dev team or the development team so they do the testing when an independent person is doing the testing obviously you can get some unbiased answers okay if you look at this already it has gone through one developer doing the testing development team doing some testing on the software testing team or the testers doing the testing above all customer does testing because customer pays right pays for the product so obviously before taking any product customer will definitely test it to see whether you have developed based on what the customer asked right uh customer may ask x and you may give y then customer will say hey this is not what i wanted change it i want only x right so inherently there may be issues done by the programmer so there may be a problem so product goes through four levels of testing right developer then the development team then the testing team then the customers are doing the testing right fine now another question where to test right okay if i am doing a i am creating a ship ship building right obviously i need to test the ship over water right so no point in testing the ship over the air so the place does matter whereas at least i don't know any shipping company or say ship manufacturing company or ship building company that is located in inland usually these shipbuilding companies are located near the harbor 
so that you can test the ship, right? But in software, location is not that important, right? Because in today's internet world, right, I have done this recording from my office and you may be hearing this recording somewhere else in the world. What is connecting you and me is the internet. You have a computer, I have a computer, that runs some program, this runs some program, we are connected. So, testing does not depend upon the geography. From anywhere, we can test. Right? As long as you are able to hook up to the other computer. Today, connectivity is one of the keywords, right? Connectivity, I am connected through internet or say VPN, right? Or say uh, local area network, right? You need not be physically in front of the server where the software is running. Server may be in Antarctica and you may be in Arctic region. If they are connected through some network, still you can test the program and the data. So in today's world, where if the question is not that valid, Maybe 50 years ago when the networks are not that good, so you have to be physically present where the software is developed, but not today. Another question. When will I test the software? Okay, let us take a, a simple example. Your car is having some issue. What do you do? you give it to the mechanic so mechanic does some work basically a repair happens in the car then uh, mechanic says it's working then what do you do before paying and taking back right taking back the car you test drive right when there is a problem and the problem is fixed before payment you test right before taking back after a repair test same way in in software we call this repair as bug fix right we'll be dealing with these bugs bug fixes de in detail in our later sessions so whenever there's a bug fix, we need to test. Again, now, you buy a new car, right? Before buying, you do test drive, right? So whenever it is new, whenever software is new, we test it. So whenever it is new, we test. Whenever there is a change, we test. So if you look at the previous session and this session, we talked about why to test, what to test, who does the testing, where to test, when to test, right? Now the big question is how to test, right? How to test, it is not uh, that easy, right? We have a lot of lectures coming on this how to test the answer to this one question, how to test, will be spanning across multiple e-learning sessions from OpenMentor.net. Okay, we will see that part in the subsequent sessions. Hope you enjoyed this session. Thank you. We will meet in the next session.